Konnichiwa guys! In today's episode, I will tell you what I packed for my one month trip in Japan in the month of March. I'm currently sitting in the airport waiting for my long haul flight and if you think it's pretty much impossible, I'll show you that I basically have all the most important clothes. I might buy a thing here or there, but I'm pretty sure that all the clothes and all the stuff that I have here is gonna serve me well. So continue watching if you wanna know how to do it by yourself. March seems to be a pretty cold month, so I'll be needing clothes that layer on well. And also there are around um, 10 days of uh, rain um, so um, I'll have to have something that will, you know, deal well with this type of weather, especially I'm talking about the boots. The second thing is the culture. Now, Japan is a country where you undress a lot, especially take off your shoes. So take something definitely that it's easy to slip on and slip off. So you don't have to deal with, you know, tying your shoelaces. That's uncomfortable. And the second thing is I observed that the Japanese are more, I would say, modest and traditional. So um, nothing flashy, no cleavage. It's okay to have shorter clothes, but definitely the chest is always covered when I observe Japanese women. And lastly, your lifestyle. Me and my husband will be exploring a couple of places, mostly in the cities. You know, maybe we'll go for a fancy dinner or two. So what I have here is a coat. It has this detachable uh, fur lining, artificial fur. If it gets too hot, I can always shed it and just go into this thinner one. Then I have a cardigan, a t-shirt, pants, um, some stockings, and then uh, these boots. And also in my pocket, I'm carrying this uh, hat of mine and I have a pair of gloves. I hate to be cold and I think um, when it's super cold outside, it's good to layer and cover your body as much as possible. And now I'm gonna show you all the other clothes that I have in the luggage. One pair of jeans, one pair of white pants, plus the one that I have on me. And then a couple of sweaters, uh, including the one that I'm wearing right now. It's four of them. And you can see that the colors are pretty close to each other, which makes combining them into a capsule wardrobe very easy. A capsule wardrobe means that you can mix and match the items and they create um, many opportunities, many outfits that you can wear without feeling like you're wearing the same thing over and over again. I also have two dresses because I'm pretty much ready for some uh, special occasions and going to the restaurant. Um, then I also have three t-shirts and um, I have this um, uh, black top that I'm gonna wear underneath the dresses. Overall, the things that you're seeing here will grant me around 20 different outfits, which I think for a one month stay is pretty awesome. Um, these are the clothes that I will be wearing uh, outside. I will also have some lunch clothes because I plan to work two weeks out of my one month stay. So I have a pair of lounge pants and I have a pair of uh, a hoodie and also a pajama set with some socks that I can wear um, around the house, two pair of socks. Um, one thing that I really like when I'm packing is that all the items stand up. So let's say I open the suitcase and I need to take something, but you know, the next day we have to check out. I can simply uh, take an item because it's standing without disturbing all the other lug luggage. So I feel like that is helping so much with the organization. And let's say I've worn it and I just put it um, back the same way. Uh, here I have the last piece of clothing and these are the intimates. Um, people sometimes ask me how many should they take for a trip. Um, I take around seven pairs of each. So I have two bras, I have um, seven pair of uh, stockings that I will be using tights for the winter and I also have some uh, underwear. Uh, I feel like seven, eight is enough for you to wear things until you can do some laundry hopefully uh, and just get a clean set. Lastly, here are my shoes. As much as I love the boots, I also want to have something more nimble. And here I have the shoes, inside of them some tights because I do want to maximize the space that I have. If you have something hollow and voluminous, uh, filling it with socks and maybe some intimates is a good idea. I have it in a bag so it doesn't 
dirty all the other things here but the bag has some holes so there is an airflow if you just seal them in a bag sometimes they can get this musty smell which i obviously don't like there are two tech electronics items that i have in my uh, luggage one of them is my uh, mouth irrigator is that the name that you're supposed to use huh oral irrigator oral irrigator i know that it's somewhat a peculiar item to take with you but i'm very particular about my oral hygiene uh, just to say that each one of you probably has that special item that they want to take maybe it's a blow dryer or something like that <laughs> it's good that it didn't happen when we were passing the control with all the luggages. They would think I would have a bomb. The second thing is this um, uh, electric toothbrush um, um, for me and my husband. Uh, the only thing you have to remember with uh, tech is that you have to have an adapter for the Japanese um, sockets. Um, because otherwise you run a risk of ruining your electronics or just not being able to plug them. So that's it for the carry-on. Let's close it and have a look in my bag. So continuing with tech, I have my laptop here because I plan to work for two weeks and just generally it's good to have a laptop with you. The other tech that I have is my phone and my AirPods and then a smartwatch on my wrist. Oop. <laughs> Dangerous. I have um, a charger here that is charging all of my tech and in fact it's uh, super simple and I was introduced to it by my husband. So I have this charger. This part I can plug into my laptop and just charge it like this. And this one goes into um, my phone into the airpods and i can also connect it to this pad overnight where i can charge my phone and this one is used for my watch i took this bag to be able to walk around with something uh, nice whenever i feel like i don't want to carry my backpack with me it's very comfortable you can put it crossbody i actually forgot about it and because it you know, occupies a fair amount of space, I just put them back into it. So what I have here, and this is very individual because I do the recording, is a DJI set for recording, which I'm wearing right now in this amazing case. By the way, let me know in the comments what you think about it. My husband says it's way too small, but I think it's pretty nice. Next one is body care. I actually have just a few things here and all of them are packaged in either some sort of container so I take only the quantity that I need or I specifically bought sample sizes so it's easier to pack. Uh, here I have things that are more the skincare type so I have a makeup remover, I have a face wash, then I have a cream with SPF. Uh, here I have a treatment for my skin and some antiperspirant. This is a foundation, a perfume that I have in a decanted bottle, meaning that it's much smaller than the original bottle. Sample sizes of mascara, brow gel, a lipstick that I apply on my lips and my cheeks, some chapstick, and then a shampoo and a cream that I use for my hair, and then some loose powder. Uh, I've put it uh, this morning in the small bottle, and I think it will last me for a month at least. Um, these are all of my liquids. I put it in this transparent bags because this is one requirement when going through an airport. The overall volume of your liquids shouldn't exceed one liter overall and the individual packages should not be more than 100 ml. The last thing that I have here is the small makeup bag and I use it whenever I need to go somewhere. I don't take all of my liquids with me, I just take the things that uh, need taking. Uh, so here, things that also help me do my makeup, there's a sponge, uh, there's this brush, a comb for my hair, very good because it's compact, like this, and it also has a mirror. Then I have some eyeshadow, brushes for my eyeshadow, some things for my hair, and a tweezer. And uh, that's it for beauty. And let's conclude with the miscellaneous items. Mine are this pair of eyeglasses because I wear them in this super comfortable case. So whenever you're wearing the eyeglasses, you can just 
collapse your case like this and it doesn't take too much space. The other thing that I like traveling with is um, a jewelry box. I know it's really strange. If you don't like jewelry, you can totally skip this part, but um, it's all mixed. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to look better than it is. Anyways, you know, I'll, um, I'll sort it when um, I reach my hotel. But it's much better than if it was just randomly thrown here. I uh, also have a bunch of money and documents uh, that I'm not going to show you. And in this outer pocket, I have a couple of masks because I know that in Japan they're still wearing masks which is not the case here in Europe a mask that I used uh, some tissues a chapstick and then a bag with all sorts of medicine although I know that I can probably buy stuff in Japan too I just have basic medicine like what if I have a tummy ache or maybe a headache I want to be able to reach into my bag and get those things quickly and um, I also have a pair of sunglasses I do hope it will get sunny uh, and I'll uh, get the chance to wear them uh, during one month I'm sure there will be plenty of occasions like that the last thing but not the least important is this thermos where I'll be making a lot of hot teas in uh, uh, Japan because I'm pretty sure it will be cold during the day. I usually take tea bags with me and then I put it in and whenever I'm in a coffee shop I just ask them to pour some hot water or pour it in my hotel. And that keeps me warm and cozy during the whole day. As you can see from the top, it all fits in quite cosily. Also, my bag is not bursting at the seams, which is important, and it's not very heavy. So uh, that's it guys, uh, that's all of my clothes that I'll be using during the next 30 days, packed in a carry-on and in a um, bag. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you, if it was, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye!